Elon Musk is a world-renowned billionaire entrepreneur and an exemplary business magnet. He has co-founded several cutting-edge enterprises, including PayPal, Tesla, and SpaceX, and is often compared with the likes of Henry Ford and Steve Jobs. Musk became the world's richest individual in 2021, surpassing the ever-famous Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. Can you believe that? His net worth exceeded 185 billion USD after Tesla's share prices increased tremendously. No wonder Elon Musk is an inspiration for many emerging entrepreneurs and established business entities worldwide. So how did Elon Musk get so successful in such a short period? Well, that's what this video is about. Elon Musk wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth. His family wasn't as wealthy and affluent to help him climb up the success ladder in a jiffy, as is the case for many young billionaires. On June 28, 1971, Musk was born in South Africa to an engineer father, Errol Musk, and a nutritionist mother, May Musk. According to Elon, his childhood was somewhat unconventional because he spent very little time with his parents as they were always busy. So his best friends were books and his favorite leisure activity was messing around with gadgets and different projects. Musk was a huge fan of Isaac Asimov. His books inspired Musk's interest in futurism and his father helped him to get the foundations right as far as design was concerned. In 1983, Musk developed and sold a game called Blaster when he was just 12. He marketed his game as better than Flappy Bird and a trivial game. Musk sold Blaster to a computer magazine for around $500, and that's when the actual success story began for this budding entrepreneur. After completing high school, Elon shifted to Canada with his mother, brother Kimball, and sister Tosca. He spent two years at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. He later moved to the University of Pennsylvania, from where he graduated in 1996 with a Bachelor's of Arts degree in Physics and a Bachelor's of Science degree in Economics. Interestingly, Musk personally financed his university education through loans, scholarships, and working multiple jobs after classes. Musk later joined Stanford's PhD program, but deferred his enrollment just two days later to pursue his visions as an entrepreneur and try his luck in the gradually intensifying dot-com boom. He could never return to Stanford to finish his studies, and we're sure he isn't the one complaining, right? After leaving Stanford, Elon launched his first startup, called Zip2, in partnership with Kimball and several investors from Silicon Valley to fund the company. Zip2 offered a city-based travel guide mapping software to newspapers, including Chicago Tribune and New York Times. The startup received some success eventually, however, Musk struggled to support the business financially. He didn't have enough money to have a proper workstation or office. He used to sleep on a couch in the tiny office and use the local YMCA's restroom, as he couldn't afford a separate apartment and office simultaneously. In 1999, Musk sold Zip2 for $307 million USD and received $22 million against his 7% share in his first entrepreneurial venture. At the time, Musk was 27 years old. Using $10 million USD from the money Musk made through Zip2, he started his second venture, X.com, the world's first online banking, depositing, and financial services firm, in partnership with Ed Ho, Harris Fricker, and Christopher Payne. A year later, he merged the company with another Silicon Valley-based financial startup, Confinity Inc., co-owned by Peter Thiel, to create a new startup, PayPal. Elon Musk became its CEO, but his run as its chief executive was short-lived. In October 2000, he had a huge tiff with one of the other partners as they moved PayPal servers to Microsoft Windows from the free Unix operating system. PayPal's then-CTO, Mark Levchin, forced the board to fire Musk and make, the, and make Thiel the new CEO while Musk was on holiday. However, Musk still managed to mint money because eBay bought PayPal by the end of 2002. Musk, its single largest shareholder, netted 180 million USD against the 1.5 billion paid by eBay for PayPal. This would have been the finale of their career for the average entrepreneur. But we're talking about Elon Musk. He went on to invest most of his proceeds into two new ventures. He invested 10 million in SpaceX and 70 US million in Tesla. Now he was almost broke and borrowed money to pay his house rent. Musk founded Tesla Motors in July 2003 in partnership with Mark Tarpening and with Martin Eberhardt. It was a clean energy and clean electric vehicle manufacturing firm. Within a year, Musk netted 6.5 million US dollars from Tesla and became its chairman and largest shareholder. 
By 2008, Musk became its CEO and, in 2009, launched the first EV model called the Roadster. Alongside Tesla, Musk had launched SpaceX, an aerospace firm that he co-founded along with rocket engineer Tom Moeller. Initially, this company was headquartered in an En Segundo-based warehouse that boasted 160 employees, whom Musk personally interviewed before hiring. SpaceX was launched with the sole objective of revolutionizing space transportation, indeed a futuristic and ambitious project. Musk wanted to offer multi-planetary life to humans on Earth. Between 2005 and 2009, SpaceX launched several rockets, but all failed. But Musk's resolve stayed undeterred, and in 2010, SpaceX became the first ever commercial firm to send a spacecraft into an orbit that safely returned to Earth. Today, SpaceX is a flourishing project, with the successful completion of its first orbital launching of a fully private crew, and Tesla's Model 3 made record sales of 1 million units worldwide. Its quarterly profits have crossed 1 billion USD, and Musk is the world's richest man. For most of us, this would have been it. We would have comfortably retired and enjoyed being a wealthy and famous individual. But for Musk, even the sky isn't the limit. He continues to strive for more. He's currently focusing on making Mars a habitable territory for humans, using Starship rockets to transport people to and from the Red Planet. He aims to boost the production of Tesla EVs to 20 million by 2030, with plans to expand its footprint to India. So, what's the secret to Elon Musk's success? What can we learn from his story? Let's discuss a few takeaways from Elon's success story. Don't idolize money. The central philosophy Musk has followed since day one is never idolize money. In an interview in 2014, Musk stated that he had no idea how rich he actually was because he never saved money. I have a certain number of votes in Tesla, SpaceX, and SolarCity, and the marketplace has value on those votes. The 50-year-old billionaire entrepreneur always invested his earnings as soon as he receives them to establish new ventures and materialize his vision and dreams. Even today, when he's one of the wealthiest individuals alive, he's planning to spend all his earnings on building a base on Mars. Musk says that he considers piles of cash saved in the bank as a mark of failure in life because that money should be put to good use. Musk likes to call himself an engineer rather than an investor because he's interested in giving life to his ideas more than making money. Respect your passion. Who would have thought about offering mapping software, electronic vehicles, launching rockets into space, or building a livable society on Mars? Musk did this because he was passionate about revolutionizing the world and making life better. Once he said that he launched SpaceX because he believed the US space program lacked novelty and ambition. He wanted to advance beyond Earth so that people could live on Mars or the moon and frequently travel to space. This would have sounded outrageous for many of us, but for Musk, this was his passion. He came up with the unique idea of the Mars Oasis mission to send a tiny greenhouse to Mars to inspire NASA to speed up its space program and increase its budget. But he was appalled at the agency's lack of enthusiasm due to the heavy financial burden exploring space entailed. So Musk decided to establish the world's cheapest rocket launching facility, SpaceX. The moral of the story, where there's a will, there's a way. Don't hesitate from thinking out of the box. The most striking aspect of Elon Musk's businesses is their outright audaciousness. He believed in bigger and better things, such as revolutionizing the automobile sector, colonizing Mars, uplifting battery and solar power industries, building superfast trains and vacuum tunnels, and integrating artificial intelligence into the human brain. Can you see a pattern in all of those projects? All his projects initially appeared to be futuristic fantasies a kid would daydream about, but today we know he owns the boring company, Tesla and SpaceX. He's admitted taking inspiration for books he read as a kid, but he didn't hold himself back from trying to turn them into realities or rather profit churning businesses. He's an ambitious individual and never hesitates to achieve the unthinkable. Look at where he is now. Be a risk taker. No one else has taken the maximum number of risks in his professional life compared to that of Elon Musk. Going through his life story, you must have realized that he always invested money and never saved much. He sold off all his holdings in 2002 to establish Tesla and SpaceX. It's not that he invested everything he earned. Musk kept half of his earnings and invested the other half of his fortune into ambitious projects. He took risk but managed to build a niche of his own, where he had no competition. Things didn't always work out well, and he did experience dark phases in life when he was virtually broke. 
SpaceX's initial three rocket launches were failures, and Tesla underwent a plethora of production, designing, and supply chain issues. There was a point when Musk had to borrow money from his folks to pay his bills. At times, he was on the verge of bankruptcy. However, nothing frightened him. My kids might have to go to a sort of government school. I mean, big deal. I went to a government school, Musk stated when asked about financial concerns. Staying focused. Elon Musk has been through all thick and thins to reach where he is today, only with undeterred focus. Musk would work over 75 hours per week during Tesla's infancy phase to resolve issues and even slept under his desk. With Musk's unblinking focus at the forefront, Tesla has become the emerging EV giant. Basically, Musk has perfected the art of initiating a flow state. It's a mental state where a person fully immerses himself in some activity. This undivided involvement and focus ultimately paves the way for success and goal achievement. It took less than three decades to become the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, establish the Boring Company, co-establish Neuralink, and open AI and stay focused on his long-term goal of colonizing Mars. He recently acquired Twitter for $44 billion USD, paying $54.20 a share. So we can confidently state that with multifaceted ventures like solar batteries, EV, space rockets, and billions of dollars in net worth, Elon Musk has proven to be a real-life Iron Man. Please share your feedback in the comments section below, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Press the bell icon to stay connected with us, and thanks for watching.